This is a Synity Review, supported by B&H and CVP. Lupo has just made a major upgrade to their Day LED Fresnel lights. Now this is their new Day LED 1000 bicolor, and this is the old Day LED 1000 bicolor. Now I've had Lupo's Day LED 1000 here for a couple years, and I really like it. It's a go-to light, but their new version, it's much more robust, and it's really designed with professionals in mind. Now there are many significant improvements, but first let's talk about Fresnel lights. A lot of younger filmmakers I know, they'll use just panel lights or lights with soft boxes on them. While those are nice to give you soft light, there's nothing like having a nice hard light. And something about the Fresnel lens just gives that nice quality to it. Now Fresnel lights are much easier to shape through your barn doors or through flags. You can spot or zoom them. On almost every set I bid on, there's at least one, if not multiple Fresnels at play. Now I've had the original Day LED 1000 by color for over a couple years now, and I've been really happy with it. But I'm really impressed with the upgrades that Lupo has made. So first and most important is the LED itself. Lupo is now using the COB style LED instead of the SMD style. The COB style chip is always gonna be more efficient and brighter. So it's just a better LED chip in general. So next what you'll notice is the build quality is much nicer. So this, this has that really tough technopolymer plastic that they use in their super panels, where this older one had just kind of more standard plastic and definitely not as hardy. So I really believe that this light will, will take a lot of punishment. It's just really, really well built. Now, if you look right down here, they do have a new yoke mount. It's got a much more beefy handle and it has a good bushing in here. So when you lock this thing down, it is not going anywhere. It's totally solid. And the other one kind of had the smaller yoke lock on it, it was not as durable and hardy as the new one. Now if we keep on going around to the back, so they have a whole new power mechanism. So the old one, if you see, the power is connected. You can't take it off. This one has the locking power system where you put it in sideways, you turn and it locks in and it's totally stable. So this is great. I never like to really pack lights away with power hanging off them. It's just more likely to get damaged. This here is, is much more robust. Okay, so now one of my favorite things about it is it now has a quick release barn door holder. You raise this up and turn it and your barn doors slide right off. And these barn doors are definitely more beefy than the other barn doors. They have uh, tightening screws on them where the other ones don't. So this is definitely a better barn door and this locking mechanism is, is really clutch. If you look at the old one, there was a screw that you always had to take out and put back on whenever you want to change the barn doors. This was always a pain. If you're up in a ladder or something and you need to play with the barn doors, the last thing you want to do is be playing with a little screw. So this is a huge upgrade. So one thing I didn't mention, if you look at the Fresnel lens itself, it is clear versus the old one is frosted. So that's a matter of preferences. Sometimes the frosted lens is nice, but uh, this one could give you more output. All right, so now I wanna really put these to the test. I wanna see how much brighter the new Day LED 1000 by color is versus the old one, and I wanna check out the color rendering. All right, so let's put them side by side and see what kind of numbers we get. So I got my Seconic meter here. Let's get some numbers. All right, so I like to do it with a tape measure. So I'm gonna get a tape measure. We're gonna do it at one meter, five feet, and 10 feet. Looking at the numbers, at full flood at 5600K, the CCT is reading 55 and change. So that's really close to the target of 5600K. Now if we jump to the color correction number, it's between 0.4 to 0.5 green. The CRI is 96.5 to 96.3, and the TLCI holds at 98. So those are good color rendering numbers. Now the Lux and foot candles, if you look at one meter, the Lux is 4,520 Lux and 420 foot candles. And at five feet, it's 1,960 Lux, which is 182 foot candles. And at 10 feet, it is 578 Lux, which is 53.7 foot candles. The last test was at 5,600K. Now we're gonna try it at 3,200K. Now what's nice about this light is it actually goes all the way down to 2800K and up to 6500K. So that's a much broader spectrum than the old light, which only goes to 3200 to 5600. Right now we're testing it fully zoomed out, so later we'll test it spotted. All right, let's check it out. 
Looking at the numbers, the color temperature is slightly warmer at 2873 instead of the 3200K. The color correction is 0.5 green, the CRI is 95.1 to 95.0, and the TLCI holds at 98. So again, these are good color rendering temperatures. Now looking at the Lumosity, the Lux at one meter is 3,450 Lux, at five feet, it's 1,380 Lux, and at 10 feet, it's 438 Lux. So as you'll see, the Lux at 3200K is a little bit less than the Lux at 5600K, but you'll see this in most lights. All right, so now this is 5600K, but I'm fully spotted. Before I was zoomed out, I was on the wide angle, so now I'm fully spotting. So let's check it out, fully spotted. Looking at the numbers, the color temperature reads around 5960-ish K. The color correction number is higher at 0.7 green, the CRI is 95.8, and the TLCI holds at 98. Now the Lux here, of course, is much brighter. At one meter, it's 27,800 Lux. At five feet, it's 13,100 Lux. And at 10 feet, it's 3,700 Lux. Now I'm gonna test it at 3200K, fully spotted. Now full spot at 3200K, the color temperature reads at 2943K, so that's a little bit warmer than 3200K. The uh, color correction temperature is 0.4G throughout, and the CRI is between 95.0 and 95.1, with the TLCI holding at 98 throughout. The Lux at one meter is 22,400 Lux. At five feet, it's 10,600 Lux. At 10 feet, it's 2,280 Lux. Now I also ran the numbers on the old Day LED 1000 dual color. Now when you compare the old model to the new model, the new model is significantly better in both lumosity and in color rendering. When you look at the Lux, the new model came in at 4,520 Lux, and the old model came in at 3,920 Lux. Now I also checked this with my meter, and that's one half stop brighter. So the new model is one half stop brighter than the old model. Now, if you look at the CRI, it's a big difference here. So the new model came in at 96.5, while the old model was only 91.9 to 92.3. Now, if you look at the TLCI, the new model comes in at 98, while the old one comes in at 90 to 91. The new model has much better color rendering. Now, full spot, the Lux difference is even higher. The new one comes in at 27,800 Lux, while the old one is 10,000 Lux. Now, again, the CRI is much better on the new model. So the old model came in at 91.7 to 91.9, while the new one came in at 95.8. Now if you look at the TLCI, the TLCI of the new one is 98, while the old one is 90. Now the new model also comes with some effects modes, which the old model didn't have. Now the first effect it has is strobe, which is your basic strobe light. Here you can adjust the frequency to make the strobe faster or slower. Now the next effect is the lightning effect. Here you can change the white balance of the lightning as well as the interval of the lightning strikes. So you can have the lightning strike more frequently or less frequently. The last effect is paparazzi, which simulates photo flashes going off. Here you could set, again, the interval, so how quickly they're going off, and the bulb, so how many bulbs are going off at once. So another change is that Lupo has now included a USB port. So this will allow you to do any future upgrades. So the new model, like the old model, it has two DMX ports. So it has a DMX in and a DMX out. Okay, so the last thing to talk about here is you can see the fan on the new model is much bigger than the fan on the old model. So this new chip must need more cooling, so they have a bigger fan. It does make the fan slightly louder. So the decibels of this fan is a little bit louder than, than the one on the old one, but it's still minuscule. So if you have this light fit six feet or further, I'm sure you will never hear it. So Lupo hasn't updated just the Day LED 1000 dual color. It's updated its entire line of Day LEDs, which includes 650 and a 2K. Now Lupo has really upped their game in this entire Day LED line with a much better build quality, um, higher light output, and much better color rendering. Recently, I put this instrument into the mix on a shoe commercial that I directed. Now my gaffer, who's very seasoned, was legitimately impressed by it, which says a lot. Now, as far as price goes, the Day LED 1000 dual color will set you back 1,599 US dollars, which is quite a bit less than comparable LED Fresnel fixtures. If you're looking to add an LED Fresnel to your kit, you should definitely take a look at the Day LED line. This is a Synergy Review.
Supported by B&H and CVP.